I want to share with you one of my favorite cocktail uh, dish. I love this. This is deviled egg my own way. This is how I make my deviled egg. It's so tasty and appetizing. Uh, my kids love, 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 love this. I love my deviled egg with texture, okay? You can make bacon, deviled egg, whatever you want. But this one, my kids love it. It does not take long and all is gone within a minute, okay? So let's go straight to it. So boil some water and drop your eggs in it. I, it took me about seven minutes for this to cook. And I transfer them straight ahead into a cold, cold water. This is the reason why it makes the peeling of the shell so easy when you do this it comes right off it okay so after that you're gonna cut it in half do not overcook your eggs you see this is beautiful because the eggs are at the yolks are so yellow if you overcook them it will look gray or dark okay and then you're gonna scoop out all your egg yolks into a bowl and then put the egg whites on the side okay so um i have um, a deviled egg platter so i just place all the egg white in it you do not need to use this if you don't have it just get a plate and arrange your egg white beautiful on them now we are gonna work on the egg yolks. just mash it up with a fork or a whisk or if you have cake mixer that is the best you can use that as well and this is a tablespoon of softened butter i just left it in the room for it to soften up and a half cup of mayonnaise i use miracle whey because it have some sweet and tanginess to it i also added a tablespoon of sweet relish if you don't have relish you can use pickle juice it's also good just a half teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of black pepper and uh, a tablespoon of mustard i don't have dijon mustard which is the best so i use my yellow mustard it works equally perfect now you're going to incorporate everything together mix 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 i like some texture to my um deviled egg and also i want it hot so i added uh, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper you know me i want everything spicy <laughs> so be because i like texture to my deviled egg i chopped up some red bell pepper about half of that and then i added it to it just to give it texture and some flavor okay so now you're gonna put this in a bag if you have a ziploc bag you can use that i decided to use a piping bag but you do not need a piping bag you can just put in a ziploc just snip the corner of the ziploc and then you just pipe that into the egg white So just for a pop of color, I just place the rest of my chopped red bell pepper over it just to give it some color. You, at this point, this is done. I told you guys, this is done. It's so easy and tasty. You can garnish this however you want. You can just cook some bacon and, and, and put on top. You can sprinkle chopped chives or parsley over it. It's up to you however you want to garnish it just garnish it I'm just throwing everything over it some people also may try to uh, uh, use uh, paprika this is smoked paprika just sprinkle it all over it I mean at this at this point I'm just playing with it <laughs> do whatever that you like okay and this dish is one of my favorite like I said before my kids love it so much it did not take long in the left but back home where I'm from we don't do deviled egg we just cook the egg and then blend some pepper and onions and voila we just you know add that to the eggs like like how i'm making it here just blend some pepper tomatoes and some onions season it with some salt and then add it it is so tasty as well so guys i just want to say thank you for joining me today this simple simple dish try it and you'll love it ciao and oh do not forget to subscribe to my channel okay please follow all our pages on social media and we shall meet again thank you